This video demonstrates how to cam a Pentair standard actuator. Quite honestly, uh, if you are looking to cam an actuator, I would highly recommend that you purchase an IntelliValve. And then we have a video on how to cam the IntelliValve actuator. It is a lot easier to do, and quite honestly, it's also a lot more reliable. It's a lot newer technology. But if you have this type of actuator, um, this will prove very useful. The way it comes out of the box is exactly you see it. When you put the valve on it, the off should be on the section of the valve where there is no pipe. You do not want to have the off on the return because that would then dead end the valve, dead end the pump if you were going from spa to pool. If you have to orientate this actuator to be different, then you'll have to cam it differently. Also, out of the box, it will go from 180 degrees. So if you had spa mode, it'll go straight into spa mode and into pool mode. There is a switch on the back of it that you will use to set the position. It is a three position toggle switch. If you flip it in one direction, it will go all the way to the one side, flip it to the other direction, it goes all the way to the other side. And that is how you set the correct orientation with your automation system. For now, I'll demonstrate how that works. We'll go ahead and put the valve on. So by flipping the switch on the back, and in this case up, I am going to move the actuator to close off the pool return. This would allow all the water to go to the spa. And in the other direction, if I flip it all the way down, it will close off the spa, allowing all of the water to come back to the pool. And this is standard for Pentair actuator out of the box. It is set for 180 degrees. Now, most if not all automation systems have what is called spillover mode. And that would then allow you to send all of your water back to the spa, bringing the water from the pool which would cause a spillover on the spa. However, some customers prefer to have a spillover all the time. And so therefore, when we go into pool mode, we are going to want to um, actually close off part of the pool, but allow most of the water to go back to the spa. So the way that we're going to do that is by limiting where the actual cam is for this valve. So the way you do that, we're going to take this valve off, take the four screws out of the top, we remove the top, and Back here you'll see your electronics, you'll see your motor, there's a gear train underneath here, and of course it turns this shaft that then changes that valve. So what we're going to want to do, this of course would put us in spa mode, and we're going to want our pool mode to stop about there. What you'll notice is there are two cams. You have a cam here, an upper cam, and you have a lower cam. And as you will notice, my upper cam, which is being used to create spa mode, is going 
in the clockwise direction. My lower cam has a cam goes in the counterclockwise direction and you can see that cam rotating around right now which is going to shut this micro switch off over on that side. So we're going to want to set this cam up so that it shuts off the micro switch on this side much sooner than it came out of the box for. And the way that we're going to do that is by adjusting that cam. So we go to the position that we approximately want. We're going to now come in and loosen up this nut right there. So you will need to do that with a pair of pliers. And you don't want to over loosen it. And then you are going to take this lower cam and you are going to rotate it. without rotating the upper one. You want to get it so that it just closes that micro switch over there. Once you get that, you want to tighten it up. And now, what we want to do is make sure that we're in the position that we want. So you're going to go in the reverse position, and of course here we're closing off the spa. And now we're going to go into pool mode and we're going to open that up, but not completely. So you can see that we have our valve that is partially shutting off our return to the pool, allowing water to go back to the spa for the spillover. Once you're comfortable with both your cam positions, then you're going to want to tighten this up with a pair of pliers. Put it all back together and you are good to go. That concludes our video on how to cam a Pentair actuator. If you enjoyed it, drop us a like. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.